morning, you guys. Just inviting everybody in from the waiting room right now. Let me see everybody's faces at first. Can you guys make sure at least at first? I'm My name is Davian Serna. I'm a freshman here at UNM, and I'm a college student during a pandemic. Good morning. Good morning. Give everybody a minute or two to get in here. Being a college student during a pandemic is mentally draining. Uh, you really want and need social interaction. Mentally draining as in you're on Zoom, you're on a laptop all day, and it kind of gets old. You're into the same routine every day. Not going to class and not seeing people, it sucks, you know? How do you feel mentally? Last semester, I was pretty depressed. If that puts it into perspective. So this is where I spent majority of my time uh, last semester doing homework. Uh, right there in this very spot. And right there in this very spot. I also suffered through a lot of stress and anxiety in this very spot, in that very spot. This is where I, and it wasn't healthy that I had blackout curtains. It just felt like a little cell. It's kind of where I was. <laughs> so even in our hall, um, you know, little things just like our, our lounge and our kitchen, it's all closed, you know? can't even sit around and eat. Our kitchens are not even open. Insane. It's lack of social, again. But not saying that it's a bad thing. I understand the process. It just sucks. Draining. You know, it's sad to see that there's very little human interaction here on campus. I mean, just look at the place right now. It's just, it's kind of sad. Like, I, I feel like if I was here, last semester or, or the, the year before, I feel like there would be a lot more people. Even something as simple as getting food, like last semester, we weren't even allowed to sit indoors and eat with our friends. They don't, it, all that was blocked off. I mean, yeah, they do have tables and chairs outside, but most of the time it was, it was super freaking cold. And like, who wants to sit in the cold, right? Like, so what would you do? You have to go back to your room and go eat by yourself. So that's how the process was. So this is what I was talking about whenever uh, everything's locked up. I mean, even though that side is, you know, having food and having people sit there, this side isn't. It looks so sad, it's horrible. Your feet look six feet apart. Even whenever you're walking, you have to stay six feet apart from everybody. You can't even get your own drink anymore. It's sad. I never thought I would say this, but I would kill to be in a classroom full of people right now. How did you fix this? How did you, how did you make yourself feel better? Three things, finding myself, going on adventures, and a camera. I, I really had to learn to deal with my, my mental health by myself. You know, being alone all the time. I, even though I had friends, I had friends to go to, I had friends to talk to, but you know, at the end, that can only go so far. I just had to get out of my room. Whether that being climbing a mountain or just taking a walk down the street, you know, those, those little things really did help uh, in the end. Also, my craft helped me so much. I would walk down the street and take pictures of random objects and take videos of random objects and getting better at my craft and getting familiar with my camera really helped me get out of my head. You're focused on one little thing and that doesn't mean anything in the moment. And then you go back, edit your pictures and you just feel amazing. I feel like you should pick up a craft of some sort, whether that be art, dancing, working out. You know, mine was film and photography. If you're a college student, find yourself, find your peace, find your craft, do what makes you happy. Do the littlest thing, create something. It'll help you in the long run. It helped me.